The good things we build end up building us. Welcome to another episode of Self Employed Success Secrets Monday Edition with me, your host Marcus. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about why contributing to the betterment of something contributes to the betterment of ourselves. Yeah, this channel is dedicated to people who are self employed, soon to be self employed, or anybody who is generally successful, even those who are not even usually recognized as being self-employed, such as like stay-at-home moms. They are self-employed. They're working outside of the normal um, working environment for, you know, for a game, for a profit to see their kid grow. That's a little different way of thinking. So what exactly do I mean by the good things we build and the building us? Okay, this is what I mean, okay? Here's a, here's a story to illustrate this point. Now, about two years ago, there was a group of us in the neighborhood. We went down to volunteer to go clean up a park. Okay, we were cleaning up Myrtle Edwards Park, okay? And now we were there for about an hour, hour and a half, cleaning up trash to to beautify the uh, the environment. Yeah, this is a you know quick little side point too to help you is that I know you want to beautify your life being a self-employed person, have more clients, make your company more appealing, make your home more appealing, whatever the case may be. But maintenance, monthly maintenance, regular maintenance is a key component to beautifying your life and making it what you want it to be. Okay, now this is, now this is an important point, okay? Now, back to the story. As we were cleaning up, getting to things that were gonna help build the park, a lot of good command, okay? First, you get to meet new people, possibly new contacts, okay? I didn't go in that direction, but that is one thing you gain from it. You get to learn about access to a new park, okay? This is what I mean by the good things we build end up building us. We were doing a good thing. We were helping to make the community better, and that ends up making us better, okay? Because if we can see the beauty, we can't see the beauty in other things if we don't see the beauty in ourselves. Okay, that is why when, that is why that the good things we build end up building us because for us to put good out, we have to have good in us. No, we're good for like for example, let's say um, you're, let's say uh, you have a business, and you're making it, you're trying to make it better, okay? And you're building it, you're like, okay. Remember, the good things we build, they end up building us, all right? Now as you're building, you're like, okay, I'm gonna help these people, I'm gonna be selfless, okay? As I talked about before, if you wanna be successful as a self-employed person, you gotta put the needs and desires of other people before your own, okay? I read somewhere, like, when I have a successful romantic relationship, you gotta put the needs and desires of the person you're with above your own. Ask yourself on this money, do you do that, okay? Whether, some, whether you're volunteering, whether you're a teacher, a tutor, whatever the case may be, doing something that is independent and created, like I said, a, a self-employed type of entity, even if it's pseudo self-employed, meaning you're not entirely self-employed, for example, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you're pseudo self-employed, okay? You're not gaining money, but you're gaining some sort of profit by helping that person, okay? This is what I mean by the good things we build end up building make us better. We're making things better, they in turn make us better, okay? That's why the Bible verse says, it's better to give than it is to receive, okay? This is why it's better to give than it is to receive because the trick is when you give, you get way more back than you would if you were just purely receiving. When you're receiving, it's just one stream coming at you. When you're giving, there's like four or five, six different things that can happen, okay? So I want you to keep this quote in mind, the good things we build end up building us, okay? So remember this while you're at work, while you're volunteering in your community and it's hard and you don't want to do it and it's not fun, you're only thinking about all the hard stuff that's going to come out. Think about all the good you're putting out, okay? And know that the good things we end up building end up building us. It's like I said, think about opportunities like when you're encouraging someone, your sister, your mom, your brother, Little nephew, when you're teaching your little nephew how to throw a, a football or basketball, okay, those good things end up building us, okay? You ever, you ever thought to yourself how, like, you ever explain something to someone and then you're like, whoa, I have a better understanding of that topic because I explained. Because you know what's funny? When you explain, you have to comprehensively fill in all the gaps that you wouldn't see if you were just on the receiving end. That's another reason why the good things we build end up building us, okay? That's why usually the best thing to do is if you learn something is to teach something. I, I believe in the, uh, the, the quote, teach everything you know that's good. I try to do that in my life. And uh, I want to encourage you to do that as well. So in closing, remember that the good things we build, they end up building us, okay? Build good things, like this structure behind it. Someone spent time building us and made them stronger and made them know more about things. 
by putting time in the building, okay, and, and try to keep the good things in mind as you're building. A lot of us, we just think about things selfishly about how, okay, how is this thing going to affect me? How is it going to diminish my comfort? How is it going to take away time for things I want to do? Let's think a little bit higher and think about how the good things that we're building are going to end up helping other people and they're going to be helping us, okay? Helping us become better people to live a better life, okay? Now, and if you're not building something good, like for example, if you're not following your dream, if you don't have a dream, okay, be good to have one, okay? And I'll bring, I'll make a video about that in the future about what to do if you don't have a dream or goal in your life, okay? You know, to help you remember, if you do have a dream and you're building, that's a good thing. Remember, the good things we build in a building, if you do have a dream, believe in the end of your story, okay? See yourself at the end, achieving what you want, getting where you want to go. See yourself at the end of the story. Okay? This is a very important point as I close, okay? Believe in the end of your story, okay? All right, lastly, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and family. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And lastly, as always, unsuccessful people, they make decisions based on their current circumstances. Oh, man, I have to do this hard thing. But successful people, you, you watching, yeah, you make decisions based on where you want to be, okay? Remember, the good things we build in life end up building us, okay? Seek good things to build. Build your dream. If you don't have a dream, go after it. But if you do have a dream, remember to believe in the end of your story, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.